Also, some advice before you start van life, I really recommend that you have an emergency fund because I am telling you right now, things will break. Like right now, our van is in the shop with like all over a thousand and fixes. So you definitely want to have an emergency fund because you never know what can happen. Uh, another thing is if you committed to van life and this is something that you want to do, I would recommend start buying things that you need for the van um, as soon as possible. That way, whenever you get to the day that you move into the van, you don't have to go and buy everything because things add up. John was like, why are you buying this now? And I was like, trust me, we are going to thank ourselves later. And then when we got to like move in the van, we pretty much had everything and like almost everything so that really did help us financially buying it throughout like the past two years instead of like buying it all within like the last month that we needed to leave and my last thing is really work on your mental health because it will affect the way that you live in the van so much i sometimes the 50 square feet in the van feels so small and trapping and you know some days it feels awesome to be like i feel so free but then just mentally work on yourself. You will appreciate it so much. I am currently working on my mental health. You know, like none of my issues are going to be fixed just because I moved into the van. Um, but I feel like a lot of people don't talk about that. So if you really do want to think about van life, you know, just, just think about taking care of everything financially, having an emergency fund, having everything that you need. But the most important thing is focus on you, your self-growth and your mental health so you can be a happy happy van lifer okay bye